sorry for how late this has been. Sorry, sorry, people have been asking for this. So here is my post-match analysis of Egypt to Uganda. Pharaohs, uh, do you want to win this cup or not? That's what I need to know. Either you want to win this through... Do you want to win the Nations Cup or do you want to qualify for the World Cup? Because I'm thinking that maybe the minds of these players are focused more on World Cup qualification because, again, the team I saw who were excellent against Ghana in the World Cup qualification is not the team that I'm seeing here. As in, there is a lack of inspiration. There's a lack of life within them. And again, for, for Uganda, look, it's been a long time since they've been in a competition like this, so it's too much to ask of them to really come out and beat a way more experienced Egypt, what's called seven-time winners of, of this damn trophy. But again, you know what? A win is a win. But what I'm worried about is the performance, because you can say a win is a win. I mean, no, look, they've, they've done their bit, but the performance is worrying. That is what worries me. And that is what makes me feel a bit, eh, what the hell is um, going on here, you know? Um, so, and I think, okay, you, 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 you look at the goal there again, you know, for, you can, people can criticize Salah because, okay, Salah has not really lived up to expectation. He's not really been the superstar that people have wanted him to be. But at the same time, that was a key moment because what he did is what you should be looking for in your superstar player, getting the ball. Because remember, he didn't even look behind him, but he had the awareness to wait, wait for the right time, and lay it beautifully, you know, reminiscent of that whole Pele, Carlos, Alberto thing. Not as good, but reminiscent. Give it into to El Said, who neatly talked it away. So it was actually a very, very well-worked goal. And for Uganda, again, you know, there was only so much that they could... There's only They could only hold them for so long, you know. Um, but I think for Egypt, they just need to... They, they, they need to decide because I, it, that's that's what I think the issue is. I think the issue is that they are somehow still focused on that World Cup qualification because I think they know how important that is. And for this whole Nations Cup, I don't think their minds are not really in it because you can blame the page, you can blame this and that. So I don't give a damn. I've played on damn rocks before. Your 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 grown men deal deal with it. Deal with it. Um. So yeah, that's just my thing. I just do not know whether they are really, they're really in it. I don't, I don't know whether their hearts are really in this damn thing, you know. And that's that's just my take. And for Uganda, unlucky, unfortunate. Um, they could have gotten something from that first game, so we just they just have to build on for the next Nations Cup. I do believe that they will get better, and this has been a learning experience. Very disappointed they didn't get more from Ghana because I thought this could have been a very, they could have done something going for them into the competition. They just have to build along for the future. And for Egypt, again, man, they're not really fully, fully through because if Mali smack open you, Uganda, and they lose badly to Uganda, then they're out. So again, you know, they need to really, um, you know, pop, really r raise your game. Raise your game. Play for 90 minutes, man. Play for 90 minutes. Not happy with it. Get your psychology right.